Hello, Calculus Kids. This is Mr. Bean. Today in Calculus, we're going to talk about how to remove a discontinuity. That's right. We've got continuities and we're removing them. It's really actually fairly simple. I think you'll enjoy this because it's going to be a short lesson and uh, fairly straightforward with some things we've kind of already been doing. So let's say we have what's called a removable discontinuity. And remember, what is a removable discontinuity? It's just a hole. That's all we're talking about here, a hole. So when you look at the graph, it just looks like this. Now, if you're talking about the mathy cool symbol, math symbols way of describing it, it would be this weird thing here. It's just saying, and you should understand everything that this sentence says, the limit of f of x exists. So we're saying the limit exists, meaning it's come from the left side and from the right side, it's going to the same place. But we're gonna say that the value of f of x, excuse me, this is the value of f of x, some c value, whatever that y value, it's not the same as the y value of the limit. So in other words, it's either just an open hole or that y value is a dot somewhere up above or down below it, okay? That's the definition of a removable discontinuity or how you talk about just a hole. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna figure out how do you remove the discontinuity? Now, removing the discontinuity is filling in the hole. That would make it continuous. So that's what we're doing today. Now, how do you figure out where the discontinuity is? You have to know the x, y coordinate point of the hole. If you can figure out where that coordinate point is, then you can fill it in. All right, so let's do it. So the first one we're gonna start off very easy, and that is first identify where is the x value of the hole. So this thing, let's rewrite this factored. This is just the difference of squares on top, x minus one times x plus one. And then on bottom, we have an x minus one still. Okay, so then that shows us that we have x minus one and x minus one are going to cancel. So what is the value of the hole? The hole is where x minus 1 is equal to 0, because that would be the discontinuity on bottom. Solve that, you get x equals 1. Okay, we have our hole at x equals 1. Now, how in the world do you find the y value? The y value comes from just finding the limit. So if we find the limit of f of x, it's where it is approaching, right? There, like that, that's better. So we have some y value, that it, some point that it's approaching that's a hole. Well, if we find the limit, that tells us the y value. So let's find the limit of f of x. We've already simplified it to x plus one. So we're gonna take this x plus one and now plug in the number one. So one plus one, we get a y value of two. So y equals two is the y value of the whole. So this coordinate point, if I were drawing a, a, a little sketch of a graph, it would be that that coordinate point is at one comma two. That's where that little hole is. So if we were filling it in, we would have to plug in a, a filled in dot at the point one, two. That's how you'd remove this discontinuity. So we're gonna go through a couple examples here that show you how you will see some of these questions asked on an AP exam. So this first example, we're saying that F is continuous. Now F is continuous means there are no gaps in it. There's no jump discontinuities, vertical asymptotes, no holes, nothing. So it's continuous in one continual step here. And it's saying that this is what the function is when x is not equal to negative four. So besides the point negative four, this is what the function is. Now, why are they saying that? Because if you factor this thing and get x plus four times x plus two, that's what the numerator factors to. And then you still have x plus four. So you can see there is a discontinuity at negative four. You can't plug a negative four in there. Uh, what they're telling us is that f is continuous. They're just saying this is what the graph is everywhere else. So what is the y value of negative four in order to make it continuous? So what they're showing you is that x equals negative four is, would be a hole. So what would it, would it plug in that hole and make it continuous? So where is it? What is that y value? Because that's what this is saying, f of negative four, okay? So we've just canceled this stuff out. What are we gonna be left with? x plus two, because let's just find the limit. So then we take the negative four and plug in the negative four right there where there was the x, and that's gonna equal negative two. So this coordinate point of that hole is negative four comma negative two. So my answer to what's f of negative four? f of negative four is negative two. That's the answer to that. It's just saying, in simple terms, it's just saying, what's the y value of the hole right there? 
All right, last example. This one is fairly similar. It's saying you have this function. It's a step, step piecewise function. You have this function going on, and it's this is what's happening everywhere where x does not equal 6. Therefore, what does 6 have to be? What's the y value at x equals 6? What's this function here? Well, here's usually, if you're not, if you can't ever remember how to do these, whenever I see the words continuous, I know that means that these two pieces must equal each other. So x squared, let's factor this while we're doing it, x squared minus 6 times x plus 3. So that's the numerator. The denominator is x minus 6. So I know that this first piece must equal the second piece when x equals 6. So when they come together. So at the point when x equals 6, this must be true in order for it to be continuous. So let's just start canceling stuff, stuff out here. That cancels. Now on my next line down, I'm going to write x plus 3. But instead of an x, I'm going to write 6. Now why 6? Because remember, we know that that's continuous right there when x equals 6. So 6 plus 3 has to equal my a. Therefore, my a must be 9. Okay, so 9, that's a 9, not another a, 9. So a is a 9. If we say this is a 9 right here, that would make it so that it's totally continuous. These two pieces must equal each other, and then you solve it. So now this is doing the same thing as saying we had a hole at x equals 6, and the value of 9 is the hole. It's exactly the same thing, okay? So that's what you're doing for this packet. You're just doing these things where you remove the discontinuity by filling in the hole. All right, rock that master check. I'll see you back in the next lesson.